So on this video, um, which is part of an introductory uh, series for Final Cut Pro version 10.3, I'm going to show you how to, a few kind of options for, for um, organizing your media within your events. So I'm just going to scroll over here. So I'm working with a couple of events um, within our previous videos. So we're just going to work within those. I'm just going to show you a couple of different options. So once you have established this, this is a particularly good example because it's got lots of different, lots and lots of different clips. And if you were to spend your time kind of going through all of these clips, looking for the, the one clip that you want to use, um, that can take a bit of time. So there's a number of different ways that you can organize your clips. One of the first ways that's quite easy is are your keywords. So the keywords are indicated by this symbol up here, which is that of a key. And um, also the keyword shortcut command K, which you can see here, which is show or hide keyword editor. So there's a number of, you can make absolutely your own choices as to how you, you want to categorize the images and it'll be very different depending on the type of project that you're doing. But for this one, I'm going to categorize it in a number of different ways. So I might have, for example, um, crowd shots. So shots which show the crowd um, as opposed to the artists performing themselves. So I might pick a couple that indicates, so these are, yeah, participants as opposed to performers. So this might be a crowd shot. This might be a crowd shot. These are all generally performers. That's definitely a crowd shot. This one as well. This one too. Then you can have different. You can have keywords that uh, are applied to a couple of different types of um, clips. Like it doesn't have to just be one because because certain clips will apply across a number of different categories. Some will be uh, crowd shots, but they'll also be nighttime shots, or there'll also be um, close-up shots or those kind of things. So you can have a, have a think about that. So these are sort of crowd type, or it might be activities or crafts. So I've said these are all the ones I, I want to consider to be sort of crowd shots. So I've selected all of those. Holding down the command key allows you to select and to deselect more than one. So here then I'm gonna go up to my key and I'm gonna create the keyword crowd and hit return. So we've now got this purple word crowd and you can see here that these blue lines have started to appear on a few clips. And then within our folder, we now have a subcategory. So we have these little drop down uh, triangles, click that, hide some, click that to open it. So those ones there are gonna give you the, um, the options to create those. So we now have one keyword, which is that of crowd. So I'm gonna create a new, a new keyword, which are uh, maybe performers, because I have a few performers here. So I'm gonna select this one, this one here, also selecting, I'm going to leave bands out for the moment. I'm just going to have performers as a different category in itself. I might choose these guys. So you're sort of artists. Okay, so I've got a couple there that I'm just going to have as performers. I'm going to open up the keyword. Performers. Return. I'm then going to choose another one. So I might choose uh, DJs. So I have a couple of different DJs. Now this one here is a DJ, but then I've also got the DJ is present in the crowd shot. So I might choose this one as well. Got another, got this over here, another DJ here. Let's see if there's any others that are further down. Not in this selection. So we've just got a couple of DJ shots. And there we are here. Got my keyword selections are still open there. So I'm just gonna click DJ return. So now when I select these ones, you can see here, it's just going to show me the ones to which these keywords have been assigned. There we go. So going back in again, let's find some other options. So let's click on nighttime. So this is one that's been shot at night. So this is kind of later on as well. Let's look over here. A couple of these ones here starting to get into our nighttime shots. This guy as well. Okay, so I might for that one just hit night. And then I might want my daytime ones organized differently. So again, all my performers on my crowd shots are gonna appear in my daytime ones. Because it's a crowd, but it's also a day. So you can kind of decide how you want to organize these. Maybe these ones here have loads of daytime shots. And I'll put them more down the bottom. Okay, so I might have those ones as daytime. 
I might also have shots for yeah for bands or for details like you know kind of had just some, some sort of detail shots of so I might just say these ones are um, details particular arts um, installations and things maybe use fire bits and pieces here so I just put details there are loads, but for the moment I'm just going to throw those ones in so I can see. I should probably do bands as well. I'll do bands too. Um, yeah, this could be a band. This guy would kind of be a band. And. Almost be described as that band, band. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So we'll pop. Uh, so now you've got a number of different subcategories that exist. So when you're organising your media, you're going to choose particular files that um, indicate the clips that you want to use. Um, another way that you can organise your footage, which can be quite handy, is you might want to be very specific. I mean, this would take a bit of time and it would depend on how much kind of detail you want to go into. But you might decide within certain clips, it might be a half hour clip and one particular moment that you know you want to get. So while you're kind of looking through your footage, maybe the point just where she emerges from this tree here. So the way to make a small selection from a clip is to use the letters I and O. The letter I is for in, the letter O is for out. So when I hover over this point on my clip where I want it to, to begin, hit the letter I. That creates the end point. If I scroll over, maybe to where I want to finish, maybe it's one back behind the tree, I'm going to hit the letter O. That's created a small selection of a clip. This can also be done by sort of dragging the ends out, but if you want to be really specific, the I and O are quite handy. So within that, you might say this is my favourite part of the clip. You can then use the keyboard shortcut F to create a favourite. You can see, hopefully, that there's this little green line has now appeared in the clip. So you could do that with a couple of clips. Side. Okay, it's the point maybe where, the, where these girls like emerge, or maybe you want to see from where it's the waist down to where they walk and wave. Maybe it's that part there. So then you can hit the letter F. Next side, that it's the point where she brings out the card. That's your favorite part. Click O. Your favorite. That's so we've got another couple of favorite options. So I've selected here the event. So that shows me everything that's within the event as opposed to alternatively. If we go to all clips up here at the top, this is a clip filtering, you can click on that. So I click now on favourites, that's only going to show me this, the, my favourite selections within that. So I might go in now into these and there's nothing that's going to appear because I've only made favourites on a few selections. That's my favourite uh, my favorite clip, which is my favourite section of the clip, even, within the crowds. Um, and then maybe the daytime, a couple of more, because these are all in the daytime that I've made. If I make more than one selection within the same clip, Let's go back up here to all clips. So let's say within one clip, I make, I make a few selections. So let's do I and O, favorite that. I and O, favorite that. I and O, favorite that. I've now made three favorite selections. So if I go up now, that would be within my, yeah, within my crowd. I go to favorites now. So it's given me all three of these uh, clip selections as three separate clips and it's only going to give me access to those particular portions. Um, how those are then used in the timeline, they're not as restricted as you think, but that's just to give you those, those um, ways of organising. So that's a couple of different ways that you can organise your, your folders in addition to just bringing clips in. So your folders are where you can store information about a particular project, a particular file, um, and then within that, you can narrow these down and start to create subcategories that allow you to access your files or your particular favourite sections with a bit more ease. Lovely. Thank you very much.